welcome back to New Zealand. Now, not everybody can come into the country without quarantining, except for the Australians. We have a cute little travel bubble where Australians can come in and out uh, without quarantining and vice versa, New Zealanders can go there. So I thought I'd make a quick video today to let you guys know when you're coming back into New Zealand, some things might look a little bit different. The good news is not a lot has changed. If you're not aware, New Zealand locked down right away to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. And so we were really only locked down at level four, which is the highest level where you're just basically not doing anything for one month. And then we had an additional month. Uh, so basically March through June, additional month at level three, which is, you know, a little bit more open. So we have four levels. We have level one, level two, level three, level four. So you can go on uh, the COVID-19 New Zealand website to find out more about what is in those alert levels. As you should know, if you're coming back into New Zealand, because at any point we could go into one of those alert levels and you better follow suit. Don't be one of those people that are like, I'm not going to do that, or I'm not going to lock down. It's not going to be okay here. Don't do that. Okay, so now I wanna highlight some differences about what is happening in New Zealand since COVID-19 last year, how things have changed, so that you know when you come back into the country, especially for Australians as they're a close neighbor and you've probably been here before, or maybe you are from here and you're coming back, and these are some things to watch out for. Well, number one, if you're coming into the country, make sure that you use your COVID-19 tracer app on your phone. It's a really cool app. You just, it's at every business. So every time you walk into a, a new building, a business, a shopping mall, a restaurant, and you just scan it real quick and it just keeps track of where everybody is. So then if there is a community spread of COVID-19, they can contact you right away and have the appropriate people locked down without having to have everybody locked down. So make sure you use your COVID app, but if you are not technically savvy, they will provide you with a piece of paper and a pen for you to write your information down as well. And they have a cool new Bluetooth feature. It's really great. So just make sure that you get the COVID-19 app when you are traveling through New Zealand. Another thing that may be quite different depending on what country you're from whenever these borders start opening up for everybody is there's not a lot of people wearing face masks. So face masks weren't really a thing here. We had to wear them uh, quite briefly. Uh, compared to what a lot of a lot of countries have had to go through. So at alert level one, which is what we're in now, you should wear a mask when you're on public transportation, on a plane, on a bus, uh, if you're sharing a ride in a car. Um, out of, like, I don't think they make you do it, but they highly suggest it. And so you're not going to see a lot of people with face masks, but you also are not going to see fancy, cool, unique designed face masks where I notice other countries that have wearing face masks all the time they've kind of really they're like designer and they like match exactly their shirt or uh they'll have like a little screen so you can smile underneath so we don't have any of that really here because we haven't used face masks that much okay in addition to the face masks and the COVID app you also may notice that at grocery stores or some restaurants will have like a shield between you and the checky the checkout agent and that was just built for uh obviously last year and a lot of places have kept it up just to keep it simple if we have to go back into a different alert level or mm, just to keep their employees from smelling really bad breath probably. So just be aware that you're going to notice shields if you haven't seen those before in a lot of places. They're just kind of clear and plastic. You also notice like stickers all over the place where you know it shows where you can stand to keep the appropriate social distance. It's like social distance for dummies or social distance for kids. <laughs> which, you know, unfortunately a lot of adults need when they don't understand, you know, the distance that you should keep. And so you'll still see those around. They haven't been taken down uh, most places. So that is a change that you'll see coming back to New Zealand. You will also see that New Zealand has not hesitated to hold big events. You can go to concerts here. You can go to big live events, big festivals. Things are happening. Things are pretty much like, I would say for like, months and months now back to normal completely so enjoy it so just you can plan out i mean always keep track and if somebody you know something gets shut down or whatever but all these cool events are going on music festivals are happening so expect to see those when you come back into new zealand you may be also surprised to see 
people wearing the same clothes that they were wearing when you left. Yeah, we haven't been able to do a lot of international shopping. We haven't been able to go to America or go to Australia or the UK to get our clothes, <laughs> our shoes. So we're wearing a lot of the same clothes. So consider yourself warned. We're wearing the same stuff. Also, when coming into New Zealand, don't be surprised to run into a movie star or an actor from TV because there are a lot of movies being filmed here and have been over the last year because of our COVID free nature. Um, so watch out, you may see uh, Avatar being filmed or Lord of the Rings, uh, the TV series is being filmed here and a lot of others. I even got my nails done <laughs> Uh, during my lunch hour one day at work and they were filming a TV show right outside the door. So that was cool. So don't be surprised if you see an actor or actress walking around in New Zealand, people don't really care. So actor and actresses really like being here because they don't have to deal with paparazzi and too much attention. And so, but if you see them around, you might. And uh, just so you know, James Cameron, I look really good in blue. All in all, I feel like you might be surprised at how normal things are and how much things have not changed uh, in New Zealand. We still have a lot of sheep. Uh, you know, it's still beautiful. It's still an amazing country to come visit. So I hope that all of you get to come soon enough when it's safe for everybody to do so. And uh, yeah, it just may seem a lot more normal than it was in your country or has been. I know 2020 has taken quite a toll on a lot of countries around the world, but New Zealand, remains the same. See you next week.